a really bad idea. Why? Look, if you want to get back to work, you've got two options. Let me try. Gardening. Mm. Not built for gardening, Lee. What's the other? Grover. Dominic crossed me up. Why should I go grovelling? Because unless you want this to snowball, that's what it's going to take. All in done. Just the general rule. Making is usually pretty pathetic in a guy. But, you know, sometimes meets my body. Well, then, get our story straight. Just be consistent. We could be made to look bad if our version... Why don't you just tell the truth? Truth. Okay, because that's what I'm going to do. So... <sighs> Excuse me. What's all that about? Don't ask, Sam. I don't know what's going on. Um, there was a disagreement between Dominic, Tom, and uh, myself. Is Tom okay? Yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's, he's come out of it perfectly fragrant. I screwed up. Okay. I screwed up big time, I believe they say. But you're more concerned about Tom. No, Dylan. Dylan, I'm concerned. I mean, I... No, I Sam, Sam, I get it, okay? Really, I get it. <sighs> I know it's painful, but it doesn't look like anything hugely serious. So how will you walk? I agree. Does it hurt all the time, or only when you move? All the time. I'll get you some morphine sorted out for pain. Uh, nothing that makes me drowsy. I, I like to keep my mind sharp. Okay. But we need to get this leg x-rayed. Do you think I broke it? We'll see where the x-ray shows up. But either way, you need to rest it. How did you do this anyway? I've been putting it about somewhere I shouldn't have. Boyfriend found out, you know what I mean. You should call the police. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will do. Nine times out of ten. We'll get you some painkillers sorted out when the local wears off. The news is, not fractured. Well, then I can go. Yeah, so there's someone here to pick you up. You can't walk on the leg while it's healing. I gotta get out of town. Where the boyfriend might find you. Yeah, exactly. You know it'll hurt. I don't think I you can should... take the pain. Okay. Well, I will sweep up those painkillers. to look out for armed robbers. The Santa Claus guys? Yeah, I think I've got one of them before. I could smell cordite on his clothes. I don't think he's armed, but can you call police now and get on to security? We'll do. Uh, security, please. You okay? Dominic's gone. Well, that's good. Isn't it? And you saved a baby. My hero. Why are you mad at me? We're mates. Oh, no, we're not mates. Uh, sorry, yes, security. This is Dr. Sam Nichols and you, Dick. Sam and me? It's not what you think. What is it, a book club? You need to man up and move on. I'll tell you a thing or two about you, Tom. You've got plenty of muscles, rather fewer brain cells. You're not good enough for a mate. OK, look, you need to listen. You're getting worked up over nothing. You put your hands off me. Dylan, Ooh. Dylan, stop! We never meant to hurt you. Oh, we, we never meant to hurt you. We. Are you that stupid? You haven't even worked out who told Zoe you hit Dominic yet. Huh? Oh, you told me. Yes, of course. Give the boy a sugar cube. Because of Sam. I could have lost my job. You should have lost Dylan. your job. Oh, Tom, he's just winding you up. Go back inside. Why are you doing this? But we're divorced. We don't love each other anymore. She's been involved in an RTC, car versus skip head on. The airbag 